Hi, welcome or welcome back to Journey Into Stories. Today, I'll be doing my weekly check-in for Sunday, August 17th, 2024. This week, I was able to read four books. The first two books I'm gonna talk about is one I listened to on audio, You Shouldn't Have Come Here by Geneva Rose. I have never read anything by Geneva Rose. I gave this book five stars. It's about a lady, Grace Evans, who is a New Yorker who needs to get away, and she decides to rent out a ranch, Airbnb, in Wyoming, and there she meets Calvin. It's his Airbnb that he rents out to her, and there's a backstory about what's going on. So it was really great. A lot of twists and turns, people go missing, and it, it was a lot, a lot of fun. I don't want to get too involved with it. You Shouldn't Have Come Here by Geneva Rose. I am definitely going to look at other books that this author has written. I enjoyed it that much. And something about Airbnbs. I, someday I'll stay in one, but they just really freak me out for some reason. I, I think I've seen too many movies about things that can happen they they just kind of make me nervous you know and calvin was an excellent character grace was a very good character right where you think that the book is gonna go there's surprises twists and turns it was a really 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 good book the second book i read was a talent for murder by peter swanson and there's a theme with two of these books. One, I didn't know that this was the third book in a series. I did not know. I haven't read the first two books. The first book in the series is A Kind Worth Killing. The second book that I do not own is The Kind Worth Saving, but I will definitely buy this that book. And this one is A Talent for Murder. I gave this book three stars. I loved everything about it. I think that if I read it maybe in order, it may have been better. However, I was able to read it as a standalone. It's about a librarian named Martha who uh, gets married to Alan after not knowing him. I think they only knew each other for like a year. He travels to conventions to sell merchandise to school teachers, and she learns that murder happened in the city that he was in. She gets a little suspicious. She sees a blood spot on the back of one of his shirts, and she just starts doing her own investigation on different cities that he has traveled to, and um, you find out what's going on. Is there secrets that Alan is keeping, or is Martha just on a wild goose chase? So it was really good. I gave it three stars. I definitely will read the other two books, buy the second book and read the first book. And I see myself picking this book up again. It was that well written. I do, uh, I am a big fan of Peter Swanson's. Catherine Center, Hello Stranger. This was Indy's pick for a uh, book of the month. Yes, Indy, I wanted to make sure. And this is about a girl named Sadie who is an artist and she's trying to submit her work into a competition and she beats out, I think, like 10,000 people that have entered. And she has a few weeks to get her final uh, product finished. She's felt faced with the health crisis that leads to face blindness. It's a real thing. There's two different um, types of face blindness that the author discussed at the end of the audiobook. I read it physically and listened to it audio, and it was really good. I did give this four stars. You meet some characters along the way, and even though I had a pretty good suspicion of who certain characters were in the book and how it was going to play out, it wasn't that big of a surprise. It just wasn't a very endearing book. I did enjoy my time with Hello Stranger by Catherine Center. And I have a few other books on my shelf by her, and I'm anxious to pick them up. 
but um, this, this was really good. And I learned some things I didn't know. I didn't know face blindness was something that people suffer from. Either something can happen that causes it, or I think people can actually be born with it and they don't know any difference. It, it was endearing, it was educational, and, and a, a very cute love story to go with that. And that was Indy's pick, and he did really good. And here's the other theme. This is When I'm Dead by Hannah Morrissey. And just like A Talent for Murder, this is also book three in a series that I wasn't aware of. I guess I need to do better by uh, checking to see if it's book one, if it's a standalone, if there's a series involved. Sophie picked this book. And this is about um, a medical examiner, Rowan, who one evening in October, she comes across the body of her daughter, Chloe's best friend. She is found murdered. Her husband is a police detective, and they are trying to find their daughter, Chloe. She went missing. And so the parents are struggling with the fear of what's going to come about. This was Sophie's choose for me. And even though it was book three in a series, I gave it four stars. I also think, I'm granted, I don't know what book one and two are about, but I also felt like this is a really good standalone. I, I wasn't lost at all. The characters were easily introduced and you just go right into the story things happen awfully fast and i never felt lost so i i did enjoy myself with this book when i'm dead i was able to read four books this week two of which were third in the series i'll do better by that also i am enjoying posting my um weekly check-ins on Sundays. However, I'm going to do my best for next Sunday to do another one, but I am working on some behind the scenes. I need to get four books done this week in order to be ready for a upcoming video that I have in the future to, to where I'm able to film in a special location, all four of them. And so I'm going to focus on that this week, but I do have a special video coming out. It's kind of a video that when I decided to do BookTube, this is something that just popped in my head. And it's, it's something that I've wanted to do since last year. And I finally got around to getting it done. We have one more film portion of it that we have to add to it. So I'm hoping that that will at least go out this week. So whatever you're doing, I hope you're doing well. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another. And I hope you're reading something amazing. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Have a great day.